Hello and welcome back to the lecture series on linear algebra. This will be the first lecture on understanding the progression of linear algebra from ancient time to the modern time. Also with its application of linear algebra in modern time. It began with the finding the solution of system of linear equations around 2000 years ago in the Zhao dynasty and it can be found in the book of nine chapters on the mathematical art where each chapter deals with basic multiplication and division all the way to algebra and geometry. Amongst these, the method of Gaussian elimination the modern time Gaussian elimination or the Fangshan method became very popular which can be found in the 8th chapter and in that these three equations are provided and one has to figure out the solution for this equation, set of equations. Here x represents the top serials and y represents the medium type of serials and z represents the bottom serials. So, how these equations are formed? So, let's understand the brief history of how these equations are formed. So, in 1979, just five years before the yellow turban rebellion, this has resulted into three kingdoms, where each kingdom would grow some kinds of serials and based on that, these three the equations have been formed. Now, let's look at the method, how they have used, uh, how Chinese have used these methods to get the solution for this. They have used the counting rod where each number 1 to 9 can be represented either vertically or horizontally. So, the first row that we see is the vertical representation from 1 to 9 and the second row is the horizontal representation of same number 1 to 9. So, let's consider this equation 3, 2, 9, 1. These are the coefficients of this equation, but they have used these equations in a column form. So, this is the Fengshan format where Fengshan actually means rectangular array. This is the Fengshan representation in a numerical form to understand how Chinese have obtained the solution for the bundles of serials. Now, what the algorithm says that pick one number, we have to make this entry as zero. So, what we do is, we take this number and multiply this column, 3 times column second. We obtain this 1, 6, 3, 2, 9, 2, 3, 3, 1, 26, 1, 0, 4 and 39. Now, once this is applied, we have to subtract this so that we can obtain 0. So, for that, Zizou is mentioned which means repeated subtraction. So, they have followed repeated subtraction to obtain 0 here. Now, 2 times column 3 and then you subtract with column 2. So, you will get 1, 0, 3, 2, 5, 2, 3, 1, 1, 26. So, this will be 78. 78, and this becomes 24 and 39. 
this entry was obtained in the counting rod one can easily figure out the value of low grade serial medium grade serial and top grade serial where the low grade serial will have 11 by 4 grains similarly by back step substitution in the equation pi back pi y plus z equal to 24 we obtain the value of y and similarly for this equation we obtain the value of x this is how the chinese people have developed this way of solving the system of linear equations and if we look carefully this is the rectangular representation and this actually also is the matrices notation which we used today there but at that time matrix was not known the idea of determinant was to figure out whether given set of equations has unique solution or not or if any equation is linearly independent or not but doing that work manually was taking longer time hence to speed up the process determinant was introduced and the major contribution can be studied in japanese mathematics and the european mathematics in the 17th century independently they have contributed and led to the modern property of determinants where seki takazu or famously known as seki kowa who was a japanese mathematician he is the first person to study determinants and this can be found out in the book method of solving this simulated problem where general method of finding determinants was used to solve the equations and in the same year like 1683 lebnis was a german mathematician as written a letter to a french mathematician de hospite where lebnis argued that the set of three equations as given here like 10 plus 11x plus 12y 20 Plus twenty one x plus twenty two y equal to zero and thirty plus thirty one x plus thirty two y equal to zero will have a unique solution in the form of this solution where this solution is the modern property of figuring out the determinant value. If we look carefully at the solution obtained by Leibniz for the three equations. we can figure out that it is combinatorial approach where he must have tried different com approach but this solution with this solution he figured out that it is a unique solution the so same idea can be was extended by maclaurin in the treaty of algebra book where we can figure out that maclaurin has used the same approach for as proposed by lebnis for to calculate the determinant of 2 by 2 matrix and 3 by 3 matrix and same idea is further extended by kramer to figure out the general solution for n variables that means if there are n equations and n unknowns then to get the solution of each unknown combinatorial approach is followed where let us consider an example of three equation and three unknowns and if we have to figure out the value of z here we can see that it has been taken as a1 combinatorial approach of coefficients of pi1 y and x along with the uh, final solution that is the combinatorial in numerator how z can be represented like so let's say x1 x2 x3 y1 y2 y3 and a1 a2 a3 so with these combinations uh, combinatorial operations 
Kramer has found out that numerator will be this and denominator will be the determinant of all the coefficients of x, y and z and these signs whether the, it has to be positive or negative was actually proposed by Seki Kova 18th century the term determinant was not defined or introduced it was first introduced by Gauss in 1801, which can be found out in Disquisitions Arithmetic. Later, in 1826, Cauchy introduced the ideas of eigenvalues and he also introduced the major property of determinant used today, which is the determinant of product of AB, determinant of is is determinant of A times determinant of B. This idea which is the modern which is one of the property of determinant is introduced by Cauchy. In 1841 Kelly used the two vertical line notation to represent determinant. So this is the symbol which we are using currently for the determinant. So this was introduced by Kelly. Matrices were introduced as the abbreviation of linear transformation by Gauss in the book Discretionary Arithmetic in 1801 and the book in that book Gauss shows how the notation of matrix that we use today is uh, given. So let us consider this is the equation of quadratic equation ax square plus b y square plus c x y of this form and then it is linearly transformed through capital x y so here every coefficients will also be transformed by capital a so let's say this is the transformation that has been obtained. This is the linear transformation. Now what Gauss argued is that these coefficients of these two will be equivalent provided that x, y capital X, y are having in the range of coefficients like small a, small b, small c and capital A, capital B, capital C are integers. So this was the important condition a, b, c and capital A, capital B, capital C which is the linear, which is the transformed coefficients should be integer. That was one of the conditions and then he said that this transformation is through a determinant value 1. The determinant of this equation on transforming of the original equation and taking the determinant 1, we get the transformation of capital X and capital Y in terms of capital X and capital Y. So then this linear transformation which we obtained was provided in the rectangular array like A, B, C, A, B, C. So this is the representation of matrices. So Gauss introduced this idea of how matrices was given. And Later in 1855, J.J. Sylvester termed, termed this notation of rectangular representation or rectangular array representation as matrices. So let's say these are the equations. X, Y, Z has to be figured out and A, B, C are all A, B, C to M are the coefficients. 
So this is the representation which we use today. This notation what we see today is actually given by Kelly in his paper of 1850s where he also gave the single letter notation to represent matrix and this is also considered a great evolution in the a matrix algebra but his major contribution was with hamiltonian where he proved that the square matrix satisfies the characteristic polynomial for 2 by 2 and 3 by 3 matrices that was the major contribution which has changed the perception of matrices not only it was used to solve linear equation but also to figure out the eigenvalues. 